What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some EA Sports UFC 3. This is going to be the career mode on the lightweight division. We are going to be bringing back an old favourite from the UFC 2 series, which is going to be King Chow. He was in the featherweight division uh, in the last game and he moved down to bantamweight, but this is going to be like a kind of what if, and he's going to be in a lightweight division. Um, we're going to go for the lightweight and hopefully fight for the welterweight title, something like that. But the lightweight division has this man on the screen, Conor McGregor, and pretty much just the biggest talent stack division in the whole game. So we have Khabib Nurmagomedov. We have Tony Ferguson, Edson Barboza, Nate Diaz. We have so many awesome fighters in the lightweight division. It's probably the best division to kickstart this uh, career mode series off in. I will be doing every other career mode um, just after this one. Um, so I will be doing like the female vision divisions against like Ronda Rousey and the heavyweight division against like Stipe Miocic. And there will be just so many more career modes uh, series on the channel. I'm just going to go through the lightweight division first, see how we get on. And uh, yeah, so you guys are going to see Chow in his younger years with a bit of a smaller beard and a shaven head instead of a bald head. And then obviously we're going to see him get older and older and hopefully better. And hopefully he gets signed into the UFC. You start in the World Fighting Alliance in this series and uh, then you will end up hopefully getting signed for the UFC if you're good enough. So we, we will see where we end up by the end of the episode or by the end of the career mode. Uh, we're going to see if we are a title contender or if we're a champion or whatever. We're going to see how Chow's career goes. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. I know this series is going to be amazing. So thank you guys all so much for that. And without further ado, let's dive straight in. Okay, so we selected the striker category and uh, we've gone in the lightweight division uh, with the likes of Conor McGregor. We are just going to make our old-fashioned King Chow and then uh, I will see you guys in a second. We're going to make this character whoop some ass and then I will see you guys in a second with my debut fight. Right, so here he is, the absolute beast. We are going to jump into our debut fight in a second. Should be pretty badass. We are going to be in the World Fighting Alliance. Just before you get into the UFC this time, you have to go into the World Fighting Alliance. And basically what that is, it is a, um, it's like another promotion. And then Dana White will come along and sign you if he thinks you're good enough. So this could be kind of cool, seeing if I'm good enough for the UFC. Hopefully, um, fingers crossed. But we are going to be playing, hopefully through the career mode. Hopefully getting a championship spot. And uh, just being an absolute legend like he was in UFC 2. This is Chow in his younger years, but here he is now. Uh, we get $600 for showing up, and we get 1000 for a win. So, fingers crossed we get a win here. Uh, let's go. We just sign up with our fingerprint. That was kind of cool. But here we go. We have got our debut fight. Fingers crossed we get a win. But here we go. Gameplay tip. Strike vul vulnerability is high when using head movement. Do not lean towards an incoming strike. Well, that should be kind of obvious. I have a feeling that's going to happen, though. We're going to get knocked out cold in a minute. But here we go. This should be kind of badass. We have a few fights first, I think, before we get into the UFC. Here we go in the World Fighting Alliance. King Chow ready to whoop some ass. Here he is in the World Fighting Alliance. Fighting his first opponent tonight, Edward Lewis. Let's go. Let's see how we get on. We have got some reach over him. We have got some height over him, so I'm hoping that does come into factor here. Chow just cold. He's a cold killer, and I'm hoping for more of that tonight. Um... Let's go though. Let's see. Let's see how he is. Let's move. Touching gloves. This dude's a kicker. Okay, here we go. Right. Good start. Boom. Look at the movement by Chow. Oh, the kick's getting in though from Edward. Edward Lewis? I think I'm saying that right. Boom. Boom. Look at the hooks though. Chow with a flurry there that just put that dude back in his place. Let him know that, nah, I'm the man. Right, let's go. Good straight. Oh, good hit by Edward Lewis though. Boy, this is going to be over very quick. Pounded away on that bitch's face. There we go. He's down. Get up. We're going back down. Good start by Chow. The sprinting thing's new as well. There we go. He is going to be out of cold in a minute. First round knockout. I'm going to say. Okay, just chipping away at that head. Oh, good slip. I see it coming. Beating him sick here. Putting on the pressure. Okay, let's go. Boom! He's down again. Can we dive on him? Might have been a bad idea. Okay, grappling tutorial. I think I know how to grapple and all stuff like that. So let's just skip all this. This could be out. We got our first win. Our debut is finished in the first round. King Chow, an absolute beast. Still an absolute beast. And there he is, Dana. You need to take a look, buddy, because this here is the real deal. King Chow making his debut. A finish in the first round. Good left hook drops him, and Chow kept him there. There was no getting back up from that. He tried to get up, 
And uh, there we go, Chow finishing the fight in fashion. The first round knockout on his debut. That should make waves. But there we go. Chow winning the first fight. There he is, winner by knockout. Absolute beast in his younger years. Look at him with his new trimmed beard and uh, his shaven head. Obviously, he will, he will go bald and stuff like that later on. But there we go, the first fight is complete. Look at him there, he looks like an absolute killer. He's got five, uh, ten fans. Okay, and uh, we've got some money there as well. So, buy EA Sports UFC 3. Wait, what? Do we only get one fight in career mode? That sucks. Or do we get more? I don't know. Okay, that's my favourite fighter right there. Fuck yeah, Darcy Raymond. When Chow MMA gets those hands moving, clear the octagon. Yes, buddy. Chow MMA is Ka uh, Chow's UFC handle uh, for Twitter, which is pretty badass. You can uh, make your own handle. So you can be like Cockhead McGee and stuff like that. That's badass. But there we go. Let's get into this. Fingers crossed Chow can carry on with this good form. He has just destroyed that dude. Okay, so upcoming fight. Wait, so we got contract goals. I just want to have a look over here what this is. Okay, so we need to win two fights in a row and win your next two fights by stoppage in the first round. Okay, that could be a little bit difficult, but if it's anything like that one, then uh, we should be all good. We've got edit moves, edit appearance as well. Upcoming fight, recovering until next fight. So we're going to recover and then we have a fight offer. So I guess this is by the WFA with the World Fighting Alliance. Let's go and check it out. So we have... Jaden Ortega, he was 10 and 4. He is pretty much out matching us on every single thing. Let's have a look. We have Josh Taylor, 11 and 2. And we have uh, Oleg Sheminov. We could go for some of him, but he is a grappler, which could be kind of bad. And they're all pretty much the same. I think we get paid the same for all of them. Um, let's go for. You know what? We're going to go for this dude. I think we're evenly matched, so that's badass. Let's go for Josh Taylor. Let's fight him. He should be pretty badass. So we have our debut fight. And now we have an upcoming fight as well. We are 1-0 and now. So we have scheduled camp. This is new. So you actually get to train your dude, which is really, really badass. So we have training here. We can train at the FRC. You're right, Faber. I guess it's like a grappling. A wrestling... I kind of don't want to do wrestling yet. I may just train at the thingy. Purchase membership. Wait, we do have quite a bit for a membership. Let's just have a look. So this is... What is this? Cassie's gym... Everyone, if you don't mind sharing the bags, people, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, this is too much. I kind of want one that's like a striker. I want a one. I want a striker in gym. Okay, so Conor McGregor, that is Blackburn kickboxing. And we have a lot of good people there we can train with. Obviously, we won't be able to get that yet. That is 20k to join that gym. That is insane. Uh, but we will probably be going for maybe this then. Um, and we get to train with some dudes. We get to train with Nick, Nick Lentz, which is kind of badass. I guess we could do this, right? And then schedule training camp. So, how many weeks are we training for? Let's train for, I don't know, three weeks? Total. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Train for three weeks. You can overtrain in this as well, which is badass. And you can use these points. As you see in the top, we have a uh, hundred, which is uh, next to the money and stuff. So, I don't know how this works. Upcoming fight. Do we go to? And then you can train, learn, promote, or spar. Okay, so... This is pretty badass. We can increase our attributes and learn new moves. Now, I want to train and I want to increase our attributes. What have we got here? We have Rope Dope. That gives us accuracy, chin strength, and strike stamina. Trip takedowns. Okay. Uh, submission defense, head movement, footwork, strike stamina. Wouldn't mind doing a little bit of that. Touch bite in the park, footwork, body strength, leg strength, box drill, strike speed. I kind of want to do that just so we can fight a little bit stronger. Um, and then, obviously, we go up in fitness as well. So, we are only... Um, 73. We've got touch button in the park. Uh, what else should we do here? Wrestling class. It wouldn't be too bad to do. Blocking, toughness, and heart. What else have we got? Have we got anything on here? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class. That's what that means. Takedown defense, bottom game, submission offensive, takedown, shadow boxing block. Okay, I kind of want to train some boxing again, but that would kind of be a bit silly. Accuracy. We're going to go for some rope dope. And obviously, this is getting our fitness up as well. So if we return back to the calendar, we can uh, see, because obviously the training now really does help. Um, we can learn a new move. Okay, so we have weeks as well. I didn't realize this. Uh, we have spa, which is 40. Um, promote your next fight. I think we're going to, should we learn? We could learn, I guess. We could learn. Um, okay, so what do we get from this? Land 10 punches on your partner without missing three. 
That should be pretty easy. Body hook, jab for level three, and vengeful level one. So we just literally just got a windmill. We can't miss three shots, so we have to be kind of accurate about how we throw our punches. But here we go. Chow is an absolute monster. There we go. Let's go. Okay, he's nearly out. Training like this is how you beat him next time. There we go, we're done. Are you serious? Okay. I'm not complaining. We'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Let's go. Continue. So we unlocked a new move. We got jab level three. Now we do still have 20 uh, points. So maybe we could promote our fight. Maybe we could... Um, let's see. We're on that. I think we're just going to do some of this. Now trip takedowns. Let's just do another boxing drill. Because you can obviously, like I said, overtrain. And uh, when that gets to like 100-odd fitness, it will get kind of bad. Over 100. I think you can get to 130. I was watching a stream of EA uh, a little while ago. And now we are in week two, as you can see. Um, we are still on 79 moderate fitness. So maybe spar. I could spar. I could learn. Or we could increase some attributes. I think to start things off, we are just going to increase some attributes. Uh, let's go for... I think I'm going to go for the takedown defense. One a little bit, just to gain some of that. Now we are on 80 moderate fitness, and we still have 80 points to uh, to play with as well, which is kind of cool. So you have to really manage your fighter, you have to manage your training camps, which I do kind of like as well, which is uh, it's pretty decent. So we do have this for three weeks, uh, so we probably should get a move on here. We have learn, so are we just doing this again? Okay, there's no point doing that, because we've learned all we can. Unlock a key to victory, shall we do this? I mean, okay, let's go. Fitness is lost when sustaining a health event. Gain fitness for the time spent in sparring. Okay. Here we go. He's Josh Taylor. Try not to get caught against the cage. Okay, we can do that. Just use our jab. Keep him off us. We did unlock a level 3 jab as well, which I think is badass. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Chill out. I'll fuck you up. Ow. Fuck. I'm not fighting a fucking middleweight. Okay, five moderate fitness. I really want to unlock an overhand. Oh shit, he's catching me on them hooks. I like the outfits as well for the sparring. That's badass. Good work. Okay, you ain't hitting me with that shit. Let's go, bitch. Oh, good head kick. Fuck. Okay, so fitness is lost when you maintain. A health event, there I think he go. said. Okay, we don't want that. Oh, fuck, dude. He is punching. He is punching hard as well. Dude is a beast. Oh, motherfucker. Ow, you fuck. Okay, 99 peak fitness. That is pretty badass. We've done pretty well there. Okay. Let's go. Jumping switch kick can be used effectively against your fighter. Keep them in kicking range. Your fitness is at its peak. Now is the perfect time to train for your best attribute gains. If the fight is next week, this is where you need to be. Okay, so we are perfect. Uh, let's return to the calendar. We are pretty suited and booted for the fight. Um, we we probably could train, I think, one more. And then we're going to actually go into some promotion, which is badass. Let's go for some... Let's do some more boxing. That should get us to 100 fitness. There we go. As you can see there, that is where we want to be. Now, let's return. If we have some more... Uh, time. I think we will actually promote the fight. Maybe tweet him a little bit and wind him up. That could be kind of cool. So we can train, but we are on 100 fitness. And if we go over that, there is a chance of getting injured. So we are going to promote the fight. Let's go. So post to social media. Here we go. Spend weekly points on promotions to increase your followers' cash or hype leading up to the fight. Post to social media. Okay. Get your fans hyped for your upcoming fight. Okay. Let's do it. What did we say? Train is going great. Getting ready for what a one-sided beatdown. Jesus, Chow. Fuck's sake. Okay. Go to next week. Okay, we could train. I think we're just going to go to next week. Weekly points remaining. We still have a, another lot. I think what I may do, I may train maybe one more and just increase these attributes a tiny little bit more. Let's go for some thingy. Because it is only go. It, it didn't even go up by one. Okay, so we could just do them. Um, should we do some touch butt in the park as well? But you see in a minute, yeah, we've just gone up. Uh, by 101 so I kind of want to stay I think 105 the developer said is a good place to go but I will promote the fight again hey Chow get back in the gym you bum oh we'll see about that we could have an ice bath okay improve your recovery by performing an ice bath so we could do that Muhammad Ali said it best Chow MMA fights are one in the gym let's post again let's uh let's just be a real dick 
So what did we write? It didn't actually say. Train harder than anyone else. No one is going to stop me. Fuck yeah. Right, we do we do one more attribute train. Let's go. Uh, I think we do... What's dumbbell shadow boxing? Let's go for some of that. So there we go. We are still only on 101 peak fitness. That is pretty nice. I think we're just going to go back now. I don't understand why it takes a whole week or a whole day to train or to just post once to social media. It's pretty easy. Oh, is this a dude? Keep going, Chow Maid. The more... The more you sweat, the less you bleed. Fuck yeah, buddy. Um, so we are on 101. Maybe I should train. You know what? Let's uh, let's do one more. Let's do let's do boxing again. We are going to be a beast in stand up. As you can see now, we have got 10 points, and we are only we are 102 fitness. So training really, really does does help out. So we are going to go to next week. I think this is the final week. Okay, last fight result bonus. We get some more fight height. Uh, opponent quality bonus, a bo bonus, a fight height bonus for a competitive matchup in the stats and rankings. Post to social media and post to social media. Here we go. The second fight of King Chow's career. Can it go as smoothly as the first one? I kind of hope so, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Mandatory promotional events are required to be completed. If you do not attend them, you will be fined. Okay, this game is brutal. So you will need later on when people care about you and you have fans. You will have to go to like press conferences and stuff, and that is when the career mode is going to get the best. I feel like chatting shit to your opponent and stuff. That is going to be the best. But here we go, episode episode um, fight number two. Here we go. We have Chow v Josh Taylor. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. We do have a lot of range over him, but here we go. Let's see how we get on. This is the second fight of career. Fingers crossed it is good as the second uh, as the first. Sorry. Here we go. What you got, bitch? Not a lot, but it looks things. Okay, let's go. Jab is killing. Right, let's get in there. The combinations Charles throw. They just kind of stand still. Like this guy's twelve and two. Like who's he been fighting? Fucking tin cans. Fighting fucking bread bins. Look at the combinations by Chow. Good hook and he's down. There we go. That's what we want. Let's keep him there though. Good uppercut though. Fire back with one of my own. I don't mind taking a few shots. If he goes to sleep. The hook and the uh, the straight really helping out here. He, he's rocked. Get the fuck down, bro. Get up. Get up. What you got? Okay, he's hurt. He's got... Oh, my God. Three knockdowns. Punishing him. He's hurt again. Oh, my God. We killed him. He's dead. He's not getting up. <laughs> He's done. Jesus Christ, Chow. Okay. Well, that went as smoothly as the uh, the second. Good. I think it was a yeah, it was a hook and then a straight that put him down. That was just a knockdown, though. I think this is the KO. Hook. The hook and the straight is a really good combination, but uh, he just wasn't getting up after that. That is fight number two. Chow is now two and zero. Oh, um, and yeah, great, great start. Great start in his UFC career, I guess, or his MMA career. But there we go. We knocked him down three times, and it literally... We, it was about a minute we was in that fight. That is insane. But there we go. Okay, so have we got the contracts? The longevity is still really, really high. We've got some more fans as well. 39 fans. That is badass. I guess we're just going to continue on. Let's keep going. So, two fights, two wins... That fight, I didn't even see that punch coming. He only saw it going back. Fight. I think Chow May could jump into a boxing ring tomorrow and win titles hands down. With hands like that. Okay. Okay, so we're getting a lot of good feedback, I feel. That's uh, that's good to start off with. I mean, that's what you kind of need. But um, at the minute, I feel like we are we are good, but we're not amazing. Like We need to just we need to carry on and we need to focus on uh, our career. We have some perks over here, as you can see. Uh, they have the little thing. Do we have any perks, though? Striking, we do. What is this? When suffering a health event, your strikes deal. Your strikes deal even more damage. Okay, okay. So that is the only one we have. It is only a level one, but it's not too bad. I think we have a level three jab as well. So I'm just going to go ahead real quick and put that on. I don't know what it will do. I think it may be like faster and maybe even more str like stronger or like harder jab. We have got a level two jab, but I thought we had a level three. We have a level three jab. There we go. So it does more damage, but a jab isn't exactly. Great, so we do obviously get more. And the old UFC, you would have to buy these. But uh, I guess you have to unlock them by training, which is still really cool. 
I think what I'm going to do now, instead of ending the video, we are going to go for a, another fight and another training camp. The training camps I really do enjoy as well because you get to like choose the way you train. You did on the old one, but not as flexible as this. So we have Dirk de Boer. Dirk de Boer? And he is 10 and 1. We are only 2 and 0. So this could be a. You know what? We're going to fight anyone. I do not give a shit who they put in front of us. We are going to climb this ladder and be an absolute beast about it. But here we go. Schedule camp. So we get to buy like another. Another camp. Okay, so we are in this uh, gym with Max Holloway as well, which is badass. Um, I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's uh, let's go. Weeks of training, we do three again, I think, and then a rest week. I feel like three weeks. We did three weeks last time, and that was uh, pretty good. Gave us the chance to chill as well. But here we go. 39 fans. Not many people know about us, as you can see. Here we go. Todd Green. Hey, Chow, mate. You've been killing it in the WFA. Dana White will be scouting talent on the next looking for a fight TV show. And you're at your next fight. Put on a show, kid. This could be your ticket. Um, no doubt this is an easy path to UFC. Chow is going to talk a lot of shit. He's going to be like a Conor McGregor kind of guy. Uh, here we go. Let's see how we get on. So we can train. We can learn. I'm going to learn. I feel like that could be a good start. Um, can we not learn anything? Oh, we can. Okay, I'm an idiot. Uh, what have we got to do? Lance, 20 punches. Without missing five. Okay, so I didn't know these were all here. Um, body hook, lead elbow, zero in. Okay, so we'll we do this one. Land 20 punches without missing five in 45 seconds. We'll go for that. Come on, Nick Lentz. Let's see what you got. Um, if he's anything like that last dude we sparred, he absolutely fucked us up. But here we go. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, all right, let's go. We could just jab straight, to be honest. Boom, boom. Oh my fucking god. That's it. Precision. Training okay, we've done it though. He slapped the shit out of me there though. Good overhand. Okay, but there we go. We got a level 2 overhand. That's what I wanted. And we got a heavy hand as well, which is badass. That is basically, I think it does more damage with strikes. But there we go. Um, we, are, we are only on 75 moderate fitness. So I will be getting these up. Uh, let's go for some more boxing drills. I feel like, obviously, being a striker, that is what I really want to train in. Uh, and then we're going to continue again. Dumbbell shadow boxing. Uh, yeah, I guess we could do some of that. I, real, I will need to start training on my Brazili Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and stuff like that. Like ground game and stuff. I feel like that could be a bad idea if I just leave that out. I think we probably... You know what? Just for this week, let's, uh, let's stay in the gym. And uh, focus on some of this stuff here. Let's go for some um, resting class. Clinch grapple top game. Take down defense. Yeah, let's go for some of that just to get um, a little bit more stats bonus on that. We're going to return to the calendar. That is the first week of training down. And then we're going to go into the second in a minute, I think. I'm not too sure. Okay, week number two. We are only on 77, um, 77 fitness. So I'm going to spar. Uh, hint, okay. Strikers usually like to keep their distance, move them towards the caves and close the distance. Okay, let's go. This dude will probably knock me out in sparring. That'd be great. But uh, let's get into it. So this is going to be badass. Obviously, Dana White will be at this event. So I kind of need to put on a show. Oh, it's this fucker again. Fuck do you want, bro? Dude, he's, he's on another level, this dude. I don't know who he is. He's a beast, bro. What the fuck? That's what I want to see. What the fuck was that? Dude, you're a dickhead. All right. You know, kick me in the legs all you want. Just don't punch me in the face. Okay, let's go. Fucking Cartwell kicked me into oblivion. I'll fucking get some back, though. I think we have to put the overhand on. I'm trying to use it. That's why I'm getting tagged quite a bit. Boom. Boom. Kick me all you want, motherfucker. Let's go. This dude's on another level, bro. Wait, did we knock him down then? Let's go, bitch. Dive straight on him. Not today, bitch. Okay, 96 peak fitness. That's pretty good. Uh, that's put us at quite a high, really. Because um, now, obviously, we can just build up with the rest of the stuff. Um, a cartwheel should only be performed in the gym. But this fighter brings it out in the cage. Keep your distance. Yeah, he fucking did as well. He nearly knocked me out, bro. Okay, we're going to uh, 
We're going to carry on that. If this dude does a cartwheel kick and I'm not expecting it, he is going to flatten me. But here we go. We could learn some more moves. I think we're just going to increase our attributes. Maybe do a little post of social media. Uh, let's do some... I want something that grab, like boosts up our chin, I think. Clinch throws, submission defense. Is there anything? Strike stamina. Okay, that would be kind of cool. Grab some of that. 97 peak fitness. You know, we're going to do another one. There we go. We're only on 20 now, so I guess we return to the calendar. I'm going to do a cheeky little post to social media just to keep up the fight. Uh, fans. We have only got 39 fans, so there you go. Let's say, let's go. Camp is going great. Can't wait to get in there and showcase my skills. Okay, um, let's go. So we can do grappling, submission, defense, grapple, stamina. Let's go for some of that. We are only 97, 98 now, peak fitness. And that is week number two done. We still have one more week, I think, of training booked in. So that is all good. Let's just see, though. Okay, so yeah, so this is uh, week number three. And obviously, fight week is number four. So obviously, we're not really going to want to train in fight week. But here we go. We could spar again. Um, but we are on peak fitness nearly. We could promote. I think we're just going to do these little attribute things to get up there. So we're going to do another boxing drill. Trying to get that power up if we can. I think, you know what, we're just going to do another. We are only on literally. La 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 chow. I hope Chat is planning on amping up training for his fight. Oh shit. Okay, so that means we kind of need to get a move on and do something here. I guess. I guess that's what that means. Uh, let's spar again, I guess. Shouldn't be putting out of his training if he looks like that in the gym. Dude. I've been training. I guess it's because we're not at peak fitness yet. We're still on 90. Oh, this fucker's back. Can't we get someone else to spar against? I don't like him at all. He's a dick. Alright. 101. 102. Oh, shit. That's going up fast. We could overtrain. Fucking bitch. That's how you block. Overtrain, shit. Can we stop? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, I think we need an ice bath, bro. Come on, motherfucker. Good block. That would hurt him. I need to get out of this. Perfect block. One, one, two. Let's just stay away. I think it is going up, though. We've got another 10 seconds of this. I think it goes up to 130. And that's, like, the max. We're exhausted. No! No, fuck, dude. This is like the biggest fight. We need to be good in this. I think we can do a recovery thing, though. So, let's just see. Oh, I'm fucking scared for my life now. Okay. You're exhausted. Any training is greatly impacting your stamina for upcoming fight. You should skip training weeks or promote. Okay, okay, okay. All right, return to the calendar. Let's go. I'm fucking scared now. That's not good. Okay, so we're exhausted. Can we take an ice bath? We can't take an ice bath. Fuck. Okay, we can do that, though. Uh, doesn't know what's coming. I'm ready for anything. Go to next week. Whew. We're exhausted. No. Oh, is this really going to affect us? Hey, kid, good luck in your fight. Make sure you put on a show for the looking for a fight crew. I'm going to try, buddy. Don't know if it's going to go well, but we, we, we give it a go. Let's move. I, I hope we don't... We, we are exhausted, so I don't know what that means. I don't know necessarily what is going on with that. We, I, I guess we're going to find out. But uh, here we go. Fingers crossed. It doesn't mean that we're going to get sparked. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm UFC President Dana White. That's so cool. We're always I've actually watched this show as well. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show anywhere in the world to find them. Okay, thanks, I guess. I hope the stamina isn't fucked up too much. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. I do. Sign me, Dana. Here we go, let's fucking get into this. I've got to batter this kid in front of Dana. How tired are we, though? Oh, okay, it said we're exhausted, but we've lost, like, a tiniest, the tiniest bit. Okay, let's go. He hits me that cartwheel kick, I'm going. Blasted, he's still in there, this kid. Oh, let's go. No, yes, we got him, we got him. 
Alright, we're going, we're going. Fucking bitch. Arcadena in the background, dude. Oh, we're chasing this fucker around the cage, bro. Boom. Level 3 jab, eat it. I'm nervous, bro. Boom, boom. Okay. I'm confident. Get the fuck down. This is my time, boy. Teeing off, really. There we go. He's rock. Okay, I'm putting on a lot of pressure here. The thing is, because he's up against the cage, I don't think he'd be able to do them cartwheel shit. And uh, that's kind of good. I'm kind of nervous though. Going forward. Because of the kicks. He's not really throwing. I guess that's because it's the... It's kind of like the tutorial to career mode, I guess. We're throwing bombs though at this bitch. Just kind of... Trying to stay off the cage, to be honest. There he goes down. Oh, fuck! Okay, I guess that's us signed. <laughs> I guess that's us signed. Bang, right hook that put him to sleep. That was a sick knockout as well. Oh, no, it didn't put him to sleep. Stumbled him, and then I guess we got the finish. It was a right hook that did knock him out, though, but... He is out cold, dude. The last two people we have slept. Is he going to sign me? He fucking better, dude. I swear. Okay. We knocked him down five times. Okay. <laughs> We're killers, dude. Okay. Longevity is dropping a little bit. We, uh, we gained some fans, though. We gained a lot of fans. I guess we continue on. Chow is looking guys mean. That have that enthusiasm and excitement. And want to be in the UFC so bad. Is that good then? Does that mean we're signed? Are we in the UFC? Congrats, Chow MMA. I can't wait to see it in the UFC. Yes! Did that fight even see that punch Chow got him with? Hashtag incredible. Fuck yeah. We're in the UFC, lads. We are in the UFC. Let's go. Continue. So the overtraining didn't really damage us as much. Hey, Chow MMA. I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon. Hashtag got lucky. Uh, it would be fun to fight again. Hope you can make it to the big leagues. Uh... Let's go for that. Contract earned. So yeah, I wonder if he gets signed to the UFC as well. But there we go. We've got a rookie. 15 grand for a show and a 10 extra grand for a win. Okay, let's sign it. That is our first contract. we got five fights in the UFC and uh, hopefully they don't let us go. But I think you can go back to the WFA if you do terrible in your UFC fights. Obviously, I hope that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, moving forward. We're doing pretty good. Let's recover. And I think I'm going to end this first video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys for more UFC free career mode next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.